In this fourth episode of our uh, series, The Making of a Music Video, about our album Songs and Lovers, describes the locations in Madeira which could be uh, used for the individual tracks. And I've, I've compiled a list of 15 of those, although there are only 11 songs on the album, um, because one's really spoiled for choice in Madeira. There are so many beautiful places that picking those perhaps more suitable for the theme of each track is not so easy. And anyway, here we, here we are. I'm, I'm going to suggest that we do ordinary days in Quinta Magnolia Park, where there's a lovely restaurant, and by it a small alcove suitable for filming, and where one can bring the drone down towards the location. So that was my plan for there. And then, for the Ballad of Martin Mariner, um, I was, there's a promontory uh, near the Atlantis restaurant in Caniso Baixo, um, which people often wander onto, but gives you a great view to it from the restaurant itself. So I thought maybe we could use that promontory for Martin Mariner, because it gives opening to the sea and its horizon. So that's number two. And number three, uh, Without a Heart, I thought might do well being filmed at Faja Darea, although there are other places which would do equally well. Faja Darea is uh, very near to Sao Vicente in the north part of the island and uh, is likely to have less sunny weather and more clouds, but that would be in keeping with the theme of the melody anyway. Um, the fourth idea for a location is that Camino Real number 25, although there are many other Camino Reals on the island, these are old tracks which have been abandoned uh, but which used to form a route all the way, all the way around the island at one point. And um, I could do Featherbed Lane there because uh, Camino is really another word for a lane. Well, that's number four. Um, in the old town of Funchal, the, the, the buildings were becoming dilapidated. And some years ago, students started painting the abandoned doorways of uh, the old town. And it became quite a tourist feature in the end. There's some really uh, brilliant pieces of art. So filming against the background of one of those might be suitable for uh, Love's Highway. And also in Funchal is, of course, Quinta Magnolia, where I already mentioned the restaurant. But there's also a beautiful bandstand there in white. And I thought maybe time to love could well go there, be filmed there, and again it's very accessible for drones. Um, Love's Highway could also be filmed in Porto Santo. The beach at Porto Santo is amazingly long and yellow sand, um, unlike the mainland of Madeira, which doesn't have that many sandy beaches. I guess the only one I would argue is fairly sandy is Seychelles, but there are two other imported sand beaches uh, on the island, one at Calieta and the other at Mashiko. However, any one of those could do for Love's Highway. So that's number seven of the locations, the possible locations. Well, Age Gap Love, I think, perhaps deserves an inside filming, and what better than Alto Lida, who's just undergone a two million euro refurbishment with a new bar and a new stage, so maybe that's a good place for a, a location. And um, also Reed's Hotel, 
which is very famous, uh, or the Savoy, both very famous hotels, um, and where we could shoot Don't Tell Our Friends. So there's the two possibilities for there. At uh, Salvi Send also, there is a Club Naval with a kind of protected um, sea accessed uh, swimming area, and that might be a useful place to do ordinary days. Um, and then Santa Catarina Park in Funchal uh, has an area overlooking the marina, and it could be that at this time of year, September, October, November, we could see some uh, autumn leaves, and therefore autumns here again uh, would be a suitable track to film in that location. More and contrasting with that is right up in the middle of the island, uh, an area called Fayal, very misty, full of curious gnarled old trees, which might suit uh, the track which I've called Jimbo, about my son. By contrast, Time to Love, the one about my brother, could be filmed at Ponte de Sol. Now at Ponte de Sol there's a bridge with a rock in the middle, or underneath the bridge, and if I can get onto that, I'm not sure you can, it would be a perfect place to shoot uh, a, a soloist with a guitar. And finally, um, at the hole in one, there's some curious statues, and Sarah often sings there um, in front of those statues, and they might make a great backdrop for Painted Road. So those are some of the uh, areas which uh, I'm considering as the locations, um, and uh, I'll keep you in touch with how we get on with those. By the way, I should mention I made a mistake in one of my earlier videos about Songs and Lovers because I said Rachmaninoff's work was Opus 17 when the, the second piano concerto is Opus 18. Sorry about that.